there is a renewed push for new clues about the disappearance of Maura Murray. The UMass student vanished nearly two decades ago on a snowy New Hampshire road. Five Investigates Mike Bodet has been covering this case for years. Yes, and he's talking with Maura's sister about the new series that's featuring her story. The series is called Hometown Tragedy, and a new episode out today on WCVB's streaming channel, Very Local, takes an in-depth look at Maura Murray's disappearance. This was the first case that really took on a life of its own on the internet. The day that Maura went missing was Monday, uh, February 9th, 2004. Maura Murray has been missing for nearly 20 years. The Hanson native and UMass nursing student left campus telling professors there was a death in the family, but that wasn't true. She headed north where she crashed her car in Haverhill, New Hampshire. I just asked her how she was. She said she was shaken up. This is the one encounter that we know of that Maura Murray actually has with someone up there in New Hampshire. She says she's already called AAA. Well, this is a remarkably remote area of New Hampshire with limited cell service even back then. So there's no way that she had called AAA. By the time police arrived, Mora was gone and hasn't been seen since. The mystery now the focus of the very local series, Hometown Tragedy. How important is it that you keep Mora's name out there? Well, it's the most important thing. You know, we're going into almost two decades now of not knowing and, and having no answers. So the best thing that I can do for Mara um, is to ensure that she doesn't become a file on a cabinet. Mara's sister Julie believes the mystery will be solved someday. I'm convinced that there's somebody out there that knows something that that may have that one piece that we're missing. Do you think that your sister is alive? At this point, I do not believe so. Um, because she has not reached out and with the passing of my sister, my mother, um, I feel that if she was able to, she would have reached out to, to us. The not knowing what really happened has taken a toll on the family. Now 18 years of having no answers is really, really difficult. That's the most difficult part of this is, is constantly wondering. A new lead detective from the New Hampshire State Police will be taking over soon. Julie Murray believes a fresh set of eyes could be helpful to the case. Mike Bodette, Five Investigates.